How can you organize your emails automatically using ChatGPT? In this video, I'm going to show you a make.com scenario which reads your emails and automatically applies labels such as HR, marketing, and sales based on whatever the email says. If you would like to get this make.com scenario complete, where you can just import the blueprint and if voila, it's done, then head over to my school community, which I'll link below. Go to classroom, make.com for beginners, which I may change the name to for automatic emails and look for organized emails with AI. And here, if you scroll to the bottom, you can get the make.com blueprint. With that said, I'm going to assume that you already have some knowledge of make.com and that you know how to connect your Gmail to make.com all of which are earlier tutorials I've done here. So now that you've done that and you've connected your Gmail to make.com, the first thing we're going to do is look for emails. Then we're going to get OpenAI to categorize them. Then we're going to use a router to decide, okay, I want to market as sales, marketing, or HR, or whatever labels you want. There are some prerequisites that you need to do first. So in Gmail, you need to create the labels that you want to use. How do you want to organize your emails? You just press the plus button and type in however you want to organize your email. For example, newsletter, uh, as I've done sales, or it might be admin, or it might be to do. And once you've done that, you can assign a color by clicking the three dots, label color, there you go. So make sure you've got your label set up. And what I like to do, make it much more easy for you as you're setting up the scenario, is to send yourself some demo emails. So here I've got myself three example emails that I'm going to use to test with the make.com scenario. The first scenario you need is Gmail and you want to watch for new emails. So you can just double click Gmail, watch emails. And here we go with this one. We're going to connect our email account then we want it to look for our inbox with a simple filter and I only want it to process unread emails. You can choose whether you want it to mark the email as read or not after it's fetched the email and how many emails do you want it to process each run. Once we've got the emails and we can just right click, choose where to start, select the first email. We can then right click, run this module only as a test and here we can see it's gathering the emails and it's showing you the email contents. Great, press save. Next, we're going to look at OpenAI and we right click or double click to search for OpenAI, create a completion, connect to OpenAI. If you don't have an API, you can do that on OpenAI's platform and there's plenty of videos showing you how to do that. Choose ChatGPT 4.0 and you need a system message. This is where you're telling OpenAI what their role is. You are an email classifier. You read an email and decide what label to assign it from the options given. Then underneath we have the user message. Label the email from the following options. Sales, marketing, HR or other and other is probably the most important out of all of these things, which I'll come back to. So you just change these to the labels that you created here. Here is an explanation of each label. So in this section, you're explaining to ChatGPT how it should decide which labels to apply. So within sales, I want it to apply to sales inquiries. I tell it a bit about myself. I am an AI automation coach and I have an online course. Any emails inquiring to buy, trial or questions about my courses should be given the sales label. I want for marketing labels, any emails which contain reports about advertising or social media. I want for the label HR, any emails from people with holiday requests, sick leave, job applications, resignations. So as you're testing these things, just tweak these explanations. Reply only with the label, no formatting, and probably the most important thing of all, if unsure, label as other. Email content, and we're adding this variable text content. I'll explain how to find and what that means. Once you've received your email, you get all these variables from it. And it includes one called text content here, which is the email contents itself. 
and choose this option. I usually find that the subject is not enough to go on to decide what label to apply to it. Please note that you are passing ChatGPT all your emails and the contents of them. Max completion tokens, you can leave that as is, it should be fine, and press save. So if I unlink this, save again, and let's choose where to start. Let's go from the beginning again. I'm running, so now it's going to fetch those emails again and pass it to OpenAI. And here we can see the results. So one, two, three emails. Let's have a look at the third email. The message that we sent it, we said, label the email from the following options. And here now you can see that the variable has become the text of the email. Hi, Automation Coach, Google Ads is reporting a 38% increase in conversions month on month. So I would want that to be labeled as marketing. And if we scroll down to the output, we can then see the result was indeed marketing. OpenAI labeled it as marketing. Great. So it's decided, I think that's a marketing email. Now with that result, we then want to apply the correct label. And we do that with a router. So right click, add a module, router. We can join it there. And when you apply a router, it'll have one stick coming off, out off it at first. And we're going to add the module called modify email labels. From here, and you must have created your labels before, you then need to add the Gmail message ID, which if you scroll down, you'll find it here, Gmail message ID. And then you select which label to add. In this case, I'm going to do sales first. And then if you right click clone, you can then clone it, which copies across the details, making it a bit faster. This one I've done for marketing, right click, clone, and then a third one here for HR. And you could keep going for however many labels that you have. And then we then want to filter. So if ChatGPT results in sales, I want to give it the sales label. So if you click on the dotted line here, let's give it a name, sales. And we're saying in the condition that if the result from ChatGPT or OpenAI is sales, or sorry, if the condition of result contains case insensitive, meaning it could be capital or lowercase sales, then it will carry on to go over here. If it does not contain sales, it won't do anything. It will just stop. But then it will go on to this next option here, which is saying, give it a label marketing. If the result contains case insensitive marketing, then continue over here and give it the label marketing. If it doesn't, stop. And the third option, if it contains case insensitive HR, move on here. So you just keep pressing these plus buttons to add as many options as you want. And you can right click clone, move it over here, delete this one very fast. See that? I'll do that again. Right click clone, move it here, delete this one. So that's the fastest way you can do it. We don't make an option for other. So if it is other, meaning ChatGPT hasn't assigned a label to it, then it will come along here. Is it sales? No. Is it marketing? No. Is it HR? No. And it will just stop. So other will do nothing and it will remain in your inbox as unread as long as you've set it up here such that it stays as unread. So now that we've done those three things, we'll hit save. There's no make, there's no auto save in make.com. And we're going to press uh, choose where to start again because each time it will have gone back to the beginning. Oops. And let's test it. Okay, great. It looks like it's given a label to once of the each of the three emails. And we go back to Gmail, refresh the page. There you can see my nice labels attached. Now, some things to consider. First of all, within this, how many emails do you want it to process? So you can change that number there. How often do you want this to run? So if you want to set it up on the schedule, you can just click this and play about with the settings here. And what you should now be thinking is, well, instead of just labeling the emails, what if I could do things like reply to the emails? And you can carry on the scenario from here. So for example, perhaps you get OpenAI to craft a reply for you and even send a reply. That's what we look at on my school community. If you want to get step-by-step -step instructions on what you've just watched or get the blueprint, come over here, Automation Coach, and you can see here step-by-step -step instructions, the prompts I use, help tips, and you can get the blueprint at the bottom.
Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.